American jury convicts Michael Blagg in the murder of his wife, Jennifer. That verdict came down this morning after two and a half days of deliberations. Hi, everyone. I'm Alan Janae. Blagg reported his wife, Jennifer, and daughter, Abby, missing back in November of 2001. Searchers found Jennifer's body in a Grand Junction landfill seven months later. A jury convicted Blagg in 2004, but that verdict was thrown out because a juror lied about a link to domestic violence. Then the retrial came here. Our Rick Salinger is covering Colorado first. He was in court this morning. It's been a long and very emotional case, Rick. Well, it certainly was, Alan. For the second time, a jury has found Michael Blagg guilty on all counts. First degree murder, two counts of theft, and abuse of a corpse in connection with the murder of his wife and indirectly with the disappearance of their six-year-old daughter, Abby. Blagg showed no emotion. His family members were behind him, their arms linked as the verdict was read. Blagg's family made it clear to the court they believe Michael is 100% innocent and they're not giving up. Jennifer Blagg's parents said they lost two children, Jennifer and their granddaughter, Abby. Let's listen in as the verdict. First degree murder after deliberation. We, the jury, find the defendant, Michael Blagg, guilty of first degree murder after deliberation. We further find, with respect to the verdict question for this, count as follows. We, the jury, unanimously find that the defendant, Michael Blagg, used a deadly weapon. Sentencing took place immediately after the verdict was returned. Marilyn Conway, the mother of Jennifer Blagg, told the judge that this has been an absolutely devastating experience and she hopes no one else will ever have to go through it. Claire Peterson, Michael Blagg's sister, told the court they are not giving up until they bring Michael Blagg home. With that, the judge sentenced him to life without parole. Live at Jefferson County District Court, Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First. Yeah, thanks for your work on this case over the years, Rick. Happening right now.